Welcome back to the Old Fashioned Real Estate Show. I'm Brian Leverage. This is Jeffrey Holst. Exactly correct. <laughs> We've got a great episode for you today. We're here to talk about the four reasons why you should invest in real estate. And we're going to do it right after this. Welcome to the Old Fashioned Real Estate Show, where hosts Brian Leverage and Jeffrey Holst for our Old Fashioned Real Estate Advice. Four reasons why you should invest in real estate. You want to start us off on the first one? To replace your income. Okay. So, now, as most people know, money is kind of essential. If you don't have money, you can't pay your bills. When I got sick, personally, for people that don't know, I had leukemia. I was a solo practitioner lawyer, and I couldn't work. No money came in. I was in a world of trouble. If I'd invested in real estate, I would have had some residual income. So for me, the, one of the most important reasons to invest in real estate is to replace your income. Now, we talked to Ben Labovich recently. Yes. Yes. There. And when we talked to Ben, he said that everyone starts out in real estate to replace their W-2 income, to replace their job so that they don't have to work anymore. But as they grow, they start looking at some other things. So that's not the only thing that's important. Brian, is that why you got into real estate to replace your income? Nope. Time. Time. Most important asset we have. The second reason to invest in real estate. Probably should be the first though, actually. Well, it probably is the most important. Well, we wrote it second on the list. So nothing we can do about it. There's a very important sticky note right there (laughs) that tells us what we have to say next. (laughs) So going into it, time, right? Once it's gone, it's gone. Can't get it back. Yes. In fact, um, on my other show, The Last Life Ever, Jillian Sidoti and I interviewed someone named Dr. Tony Pinnells. And Tony Pinnells said that the secret to living a successful life is... Time travel. Close. <laughs> figuring out how to buy back your time as soon as possible. Now, this is very much related to replacing your income because obviously if you have residual income, you figured out how huh. to buy back your time. The, the vast majority of of people that work not only in America, but in the world are trading their time for a paycheck, right? Yeah. Yeah, That's, that's a significance. Where this really sunk into me was reading Millionaire Fastlane by MJ DeMarco, which is a great book. If you haven't read it, you should definitely check it out. But in the Millionaire Fastlane, right in, I think like the opening, like maybe even the introduction of the book, he said that the worst deal that we make is trading five days of our life for two days off. Mm -hmm. Work Monday through Friday. So you can have Saturday and Sunday off. Yeah. Five for two, not a good trade. Even worse than that is 50 weeks of your life for two weeks off a year. So if you can figure out how to replace your income through real estate, you can buy back your time and have the freedom to do what you want with your time. Now, what has that meant to you, Brian? Well, uh, it means we get to sit here in front of my fake fireplace and have Very these real nice. estate discussions. There's no heat coming off of there, actually. Oh, I know, because the heat's turned off. That makes sense. It's electric. Correct. <laughs> it is electric. Yeah, but what it means is uh, I, as a real estate investor, have the flexibility with my time to many days do the things I would like to do instead of having to worry about going in and punching a clock for eight hours Wait till I get off uh, and go home. What you were saying about it means you can sit here in front of the fake fire is actually true. Like when I had a regular job, I never would have thought about starting a YouTube channel. In fact, when shortly after I quit my job, I left my work, right, is when Brian and I decided to come up with a YouTube channel. We were sitting around in the middle of the afternoon having a couple (laughs) old fashioned In a bar. In a bar. (laughs) And we were like... We should have a show. (laughs) And the thing is, the only reason we were able to have the flexibility to do a show like this, I mean, we're recording at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And the reason we can do it is because we don't have a regular job and we have the freedom to record on a Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. So I think it's been really beneficial to me. I'm even able to do things like I spent a month in Africa in 2020, going to Puerto Rico for a month in 2021. Wouldn't be able to do any of that. Um, 
if I had a regular job. So exactly. that is the second reason. So the first one is to replace your income and related to that, the second reason, which is to buy back your time. What is the third reason, Mr. Leverage? And now a word from our sponsors. Who's sponsoring us today, Brian? Well, we are, Jeff. We are, how yes. amazing. So we want to tell you about how you can save an enormous amount of money on your taxes and how Brian no. and I have been able to eliminate no. our taxes entirely. You guys need to learn about cost segregation, which you can do by going to our website, oldfashionedtaxsavings.com. Yes, and if you go there and you fill out the form, you can get a free, no cost benefit analysis that will show you how much money you can save and what it will take to do that. And what is the third reason, Mr. Leverage? Preserve your money. Yes. So this is a really big one. It's not just about like, yes, I mean, I realize if you had $100,000 and you put $100,000 in a savings account and you waited 10 years, you would have $100,000. $100,050. I was going to say yeah. a dollar, <laughs> depending on if you got a higher interest rate or not. But the thing is that $100,000 10 years from now, even if it was $101,000, let's be generous, right? Because it's about a tenth of percent interest a year right now. Um, if it was 102 or 103,000, it wouldn't be have the same purchasing power as 100,000 today. So one of the things about real estate that's great is by investing in real estate, you're going to, in most cases, meet or exceed the rate of inflation, which means you can preserve the money that you have and preserve the buying power you have to some point in the future. Well, not least of which, too, is also the fact that when you are working a nine to five job, W-2 income, et cetera, you are, again, you know, forgetting about the time element, like you get paid money, right? That money then gets used, by the way, after taxes have been withheld from that to pay your living expenses, your mortgage, your groceries, your car, uh, insurance, et cetera. And right? none of that stuff is a write-off either. Yeah, Exactly. And so like what you're doing again, is like you're, you know, it's almost like your time builds up, you get that check and then your bank account goes right back down. Yeah. And you're just forced in this never ending cycle where you're trading your time for more yeah. money. You're spending the money, you're trading your and time. And you're hoping to save money. a portion of what you get paid again after taxes right. as savings to eventually retire. And if you do a really good job and you save a portion of your money, you still have the risk of it being eroded in value due yeah. to inflation, which is something, quite honestly, we're seeing a lot of now. Prices are going up. They've been going up really since the beginning of time, but yeah. for sure they've been going up in the last year or so. Uh, lumber prices, plastic prices, fuel prices. It seems like uh, any Gas is higher. Yeah, I yeah. mean, uh, bread is more expensive now than it was a year ago. Um, so what we're seeing is prices are going up, and the money that you have in your bank account buys less today than it did last year or the year before. And so real estate is a good way to preserve your wealth. That's Even right. if you don't have a lot of wealth, it can preserve what wealth you do have. Um, and we did a whole episode on the four sources of returns from real estate, which I'll put right up there. But when you're looking at real estate, not only does it preserve wealth, it also gives you some opportunities to make some additional yeah. income which kind of leads segues us right into our last one our fourth point which is you invest in real estate or should invest in real estate to create multi-generational wealth now i know that that sounds sort of like well i'm not a rockefeller right guess what neither am i it turns out neither is leverage here not a rockefeller i don't think are you Mm, no. That's too bad. It would be so great to be partnered with Especially a Especially not about to be. Yeah, so. fair enough. <laughs> so, um, so here's the thing, though. Uh, when you think about Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right, the, the bottom is like, you know, food and then it's shelter and it moves up all the way to self-actualization. Well, in order to live a really great life, you have to buy back your time. But if you create multi-generational wealth, you can effectively buy back time for your heirs, yeah. for your descendants, for your family members. And if you can do that, you can jumpstart their life in a way that's really, really good. Now, I'm not saying give them a silver spoon and let them do whatever they want. I'm saying give them the resources necessary that they don't have to worry about food. Because here's the thing. What I was saying earlier about when I was able to quit my job, it gave me uh, more creativity, more flexibility to try to do different kinds of real estate deals to set up 
old fashioned real estate with Brian and do the old fashioned real estate show. I could have done that a lot sooner if I didn't have to have a job to start with, right? If I yeah. didn't need that job to pay my bills. And so if you can build some kind of generational wealth, that's going to allow your children to really live a more fulfilled life right out of the get go. And that is quite honestly, probably the most important thing you can do. And that to me is why you should invest in real estate. So a shorter else? episode today. I Brian, have no I idea. We, we've hit it all. You know, every once in a while, we have an episode that's 11 minutes long. Yeah. And that's what we're doing today. So, cheers, and get out there and buy some real estate.